Hello, I'm Jeff Cummings, director of the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health. At the Center for Brain Health, we take care of patients with Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and multiple sclerosis. We conduct research and perform clinical trials to try to find new treatments for patients with these brain diseases. A critical aspect of our care is to work with caregivers. This series of videos introduces you to aspects of caregiving, including how to take care of yourself. Every day is different. That's the comment often heard from Alzheimer's caregivers. Kind of expect the unexpected when you're becoming a caregiver and learn to kind of roll with it. It's not always easy, but learn to roll with it. Changes in behavior affect the majority of individuals diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and are one of the most upsetting aspects for caregivers, sometimes even more so than cognitive impairments. Behavior problems can begin early in the disease process and they usually persist into the later stages. Behavior problems are a common reason families make the decision to place a loved one in a nursing home. The most troubling behavioral changes are agitation or aggression, restlessness or wandering, depression or apathy, sleep disturbance, delusions or false beliefs, hallucinations, false sensory experiences such as hearing things, anxiety. The first lesson is don't sweat the small stuff. Just because something is new or odd does not mean it needs to be treated. Notice if there are triggers for certain behaviors. For example, some difficult behaviors seem to get much worse in the evening and at night. This pattern is sometimes called sundowning. It may be possible to make small changes to accommodate this behavior, but if the individual's comfort or safety are at risk, such as refusing to take medications or not eating properly, treatment may be necessary. Some behaviors, especially irritability, accusations, and agitation, can feel like personal attacks. Don't take them personally. Do check with your doctor if you believe there is an underlying medical cause for the behavior. In the event of aggressive behaviors, create a safety plan to keep caregivers and family members safe. I'm kind of an easygoing guy, but my patients have been greatly tested. Um, <laughs> Sometimes you have good days and bad days and you just have to, you have to deal with it. It is so much easier, quicker, and less conflictive to just agree. And if someone should ask you every 30 seconds, when are we going to have lunch? When are we going to have lunch? Did we already have lunch? I think I'm hungry, have we eaten? Just very simply give the same answer again with a smile on your face, no argument. Your surroundings can make a difference. Monitor the effect of the environment on your loved one's behavior. Is there too much commotion, loud noise, or people coming and going? Or are there too few stimulating activities? Rooms should be well lit during the day and calm and dark at night to promote good sleep habits. There are many approaches that a caregiver can use to address challenging behaviors recognize that individuals with Alzheimer's are often not aware of or able to change their behavior. However, caregivers and family members can change how they react to specific behaviors. Try to maintain a positive and welcoming attitude toward the person. Avoid arguing, criticizing, or making personal attacks. Using logic is not always helpful, but changing the subject or suggesting a different activity are examples of effective techniques. The same method may not work every time, so it's good to have a few tricks up your sleeve. And remember, sometimes it helps to just take a break. There are no medications approved specifically for behavioral problems with Alzheimer's disease. The response to medications may be very different for those with Alzheimer's in terms of dosage and side effects. Some medicines have specific serious side effects in individuals with Alzheimer's. Support from others can greatly reduce the stress experienced by caregivers and therefore reduce the patient's stress. This is especially true when dealing with challenging behaviors. Consider seeking help from caregiver support groups, faith organizations, government agencies, and community services. If you're not sure where to find community resources, check with your doctor's office or local area agency on aging. Dealing with problem behaviors is one of the greatest challenges faced by caregivers and family members. 
It takes considerable knowledge, skills, and practice, along with a willingness to be flexible and creative. It's a hard job. It's, it's frustrating at times. It's overwhelming at times. But um, you will so be, you'd be so grateful after they're gone that um, you'll have peace. I'm glad that I was a good daughter to my mom. <laughs>